What's happening, YouTube? It is your boy Officer K Slim with a new tutorial video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install vehicles. In other words, like how to replace your GTA 5 default version police cars with the real life version of police cars. If you're watching this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below okay so let's get started so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we have open IV open and what you wanna do is click edit mode click yes and we're gonna minimize it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to lspdfr.com and we're going to uh, go ahead and type vehicles so all you do is when you go to lspdfr you click on vehicles models Vehicles models will have all the available vehicles or whatever that you're looking for. So, like, let's say for an example, uh, we want to search for like a uh, a Chicago uh, police car, right? Let's do that. We'll do a Chicago PD. This is just a basics. I'm showing you guys how to install cars. So, you can go to the search bar right here. Type in the police car, type in anything which you're looking for. Sometimes may pop up, sometimes may not. And once it pops up, also when you see pictures, guys, you gotta pay attention to where see how I highlighted to the file. The file that we're looking for to download the vehicles is in the vehicles model. This is vehicle texture. In other words, this is the livery texture, the skins of the vehicle. All right. So to find the actual vehicle model, as you can see, is right here. It's highlighted. It says vehicle model. Make sure y'all click on vehicle model. If you want to download a police car to your uh, computer make sure you click on vehicles model because if you click on if you see oh if you see like chicago pd and you see the picture on it and you, if you don't read it and it says uh the file is in vehicles texture you're not gonna actually get the uh, vehicle you're gonna get the uh livery texture you know what i'm saying so you want to make sure that you're you're uh clicking on the right one so this is vehicle texture and you got vehicles model all right we want the model so we click on it okay and give it a second like I said guys um my PC is a little slow so just bear with me okay so once you're see how it got it got it right here where it says vehicle model where it got it highlighted it will show you exactly what you need to do and it will show you the uh, picture it will show you the Arthur's name, who, who created the vehicle model, and everything. So once you do that, guys, you click download. download. Uh, so give it a second for it to download, guys. Um, my It's probably going to be slow for me to download or whatever. But once it downloads or whatever, you open it up. So mine's going to take forever, right? It's going to take forever to download because, you know, like I said, I have a slow connection. So I'm going to show y'all another car, what we're going to do. So we're going to probably do like a a, a New Orleans uh, police car or whatever, right? So we're going to do that. So how I do it is it downloads to my uh, desktop, downloads to my uh, downloads folder. And I type it up. So we're going to do NOPD. We're going to do an NOPD pack. Okay, so once it uh, pops up or whatever, you click the WinRAR. You're going to have to pop up. You click Exit. Go to your vehicles or whatever they have it at. And go back into your Open IV. Like I said, make sure that Edit Mode is open and it's Edit. is. You click on Yes or whatever, right? You're going to go right here to the search bar where it says Open Search, where I have it highlighted. And you're going to type in uh, the... You're going to type in, it, it goes by the category, it goes by police. It don't go by, oh, CVPI, and this is not going to work. It depends, unless if somebody, like, download, if you install a car and it's in a DLC file, and somebody name it that, 
then you can um type it up. But other than that, make sure you uh have have it labeled as police dot yft or police two dot yft and police three dot yft. All right. So the car that I'm gonna change is uh we're gonna do a Chevy Tahoe. A normal police Chevy Tahoe. All right. So what you're gonna do is um I have it labeled as police two. So what I do is I type in police two dot yft. Then I click the search button. Give it a second for it to load up. Okay. And I'll show you exactly what I have it installed. So once you click on it or whatever guys it's going to bring you and it's going to highlight uh where your uh police 2 car is located you click on it as soon as you click on it guys give it a second for it to load up it's going to show you the basic of it uh it does that sometimes so don't don't pay no mind to it or whatever so see how okay see how it pop up it's going to show you uh exactly uh the police car and stuff like that so we're gonna replace our crown victoria our cbpi with the uh new orleans police chevy tahoe okay so and i have it i have it uh see how like in the on um, file it has it uh has it as a, a police category like police police uh underscore h h i dot y f t and you know what i'm saying so you want to change it okay so it's gonna be kind of a little tricky cuz uh you know what I'm saying you may not know where exactly you you rename it you could you could rename it so till I rename it guys what you do is you right click on it and you click on rename so if you want to have it as police 2 or whatever oh, I'm sorry <laughs> if you want to have it as police 2 what I do is if it's already if it already has a police two in the on um, file, what you want to do is uh, cause I have I have a folder so I create a, a police folder a police car folder for all of my police cars and I highly recommend you guys doing that. All right, create a folder where you that way when you download like the police cars or whatever you highlight them you can drag and drop and create a folder and put them in label them in. So these are my police car, my NOPD police car folders. So I want the 2017 uh, Tahoe, right? So see how I got a label as police three and this and that. So to like I said to rename it, you right click on it, scroll down to rename, and then you click on it, and then you backspace and enter. You do the same thing with the rest of those, all right? The uh this this file right here is the XMML file. That is your ELS. That is the uh police uh lighting on your uh police car. All right, you rename it too, and then you put it in your ELS uh folder. So do the same thing for the rest until it's finished or whatever. Last but not least, we up to our ELS. Okay, rename it as Police Two. All right, uh, police one or police three, however you, whatever uh category you gonna put it in. All right, so we're gonna replace this uh CBPI, and what you're gonna do is go back into Open IV. You're gonna click on your folder. You're gonna grab it and you're gonna drag and drop into Open IV and just let it go. And then you're gonna see, you're gonna see right here. See how it changed right there? It's gonna highlight it. You click on it again. And voila. See? We have our Tahoe and stuff. So if you have like a police car that you install and it has like a different uh, livery texture. So to change the texture, guys, what you want to do is exit out there. Go right here. Yeah, like I said, guys. Um, So when you, when you uh, do all that, so you go right here. Go right here to uh, filter vehicles RPF. Type in the vehicle that you have uh, have it in. So we got it in police two, and I'm I'm gonna do it over again because I'm gonna um, change it. So to like 
uh, change the uh, livery texture. You scroll down to where you see the livery texture. See how it has that. See how. All right, I'm gonna show you something, y'all. So, so see how I got it as Tahoe sign and this and that. If it uh, if it's labeled that or whatever in that category, or if you were trying to add like uh additional liveries, like two, three, or four or five liveries at a time, make sure you have it as this category. So like if you install like the Chevy Tahoe, and if it's installed as Chevy Tahoe sign one. Make sure you have it as Tahoe underscore sign underscore one, okay? And do that. Just to let y'all know. See how it has it? Tahoe sign two. Alright? So, to replace the livery, you right click on it or you can click right up here where it says replace. Wait for it to uh, render or whatever. It's going to bring you back to your, uh, to your uh, files and on your computer. And... What you do is, uh, so we gotta find our NOPD, uh, livery texture, so I have it in, uh, uh, NOPD, find out, and I think this may, let me see, uh, I, I gotta make sure, cause, sure, alright, so, this is gonna be the right one right here, y'all, so, after that, after you replace it, you click save, Give it a second to load and render. Just like how I showed y'all in a uh, livery texture tutorial. All you doing if you want to replace it or if you want to rename it or whatever, make sure you do that. And you click on it. And then bam. We have our uh we have our New Orleans Police Tahoe, our Chevy Tahoe in the uh in a car, in a um file, alright? So that is how you guys replace your vehicles. Um, and like I said, if you want to add additional liveries to it, like additional, you click back on a YTD file. You click import. All right, you import uh the please uh livery that you created, and to like replace it. Now remember I was showing y'all about to like replace it. So if it has like a if it has like a second livery uh texture, like texture uh Tahoe sign, like I say you click replace. And I'm just showing y'all an example. This is just an example, alright? Now you can replace it. After you replace it, you gotta find the uh livery you imported. Now check this out. So like to like have it uh as the category has a rename, you click on rename. It's gonna it's gonna have a name that you have it uh named on your uh file on your uh on your laptop. It's gonna have it on there. You rename it as the uh category. All right, so it's named at Tahoe underscore sign underscore three. All right, click OK and then bam. See, see how I did that. That's basically what y'all doing, and not that you click save. You can you can add as as many livery textures you want, how many you want, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It depends on what car you adding or whatever. You do that, and then after that you click save. All right, you click save. Now, I think our Chicago PD has finished uh installing, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all one more. All right. Once y'all open that up, exit that, go in there. So we got the uh, 2013 Tahoe Gang Unit. Now this is the undercover one. Now we're gonna do an undercover version. All right, we're gonna do a uh, undercover police car, the unmarked one. So like I said, you go back here to your open, and you backspace and you type in police four. Your undercover police cars is going to be named and labeled as police4.yft, all right? You click search. Give it a second for it to uh, render and load up. Um, once, it, once it pops up or whatever, you click on it, all right? And you're going to see it, and then this is my undercover. This is my undercover uh, Tahoe, I mean my undercover uh, Ford Taurus, all right? 
So to like I said, to replace it, we're gonna replace it with uh, our Chicago PD on Mark one. So like I said, if it if it has like a different name, if it has like Police Street or FBI or whatever, and you have it, you wanna name it as Police Four. Like I said, go right here, click on it. Uh, if it if it don't if it don't have it to where you can't rename it, like I said, you can extract it to your uh, computer. Find find a, a location that you're gonna extract it to. So we're gonna extract it to our 2017 Tahoe uh, folder, drag and drop it up, and we're gonna rename it as Police Four. All right, rename it as Police Four. And basically, you're doing the same thing. You're dragging and dropping it. All right. Oh man, it does that sometimes. So. Once it does that or whatever, you rename it again, rename it again, try again, rename it, Police 4, alright, and do the same thing with the rest like I showed you, alright, you basically rename it, alright, so we have our vehicles renamed we highlight it and we drag and drop to open iv and then drop it and let it go and then after that we click on it see if it's installed and then bam there you have it guys there you have it and this is our undercover police car you just replace it and basically that is it guys that is how you install your vehicles into your uh, open IV and, and so for your game LSPDFR and if you guys uh, have any questions or whatever if you like this tutorial please leave a like comment don't forget to subscribe um if you guys want me to do another tutorial a, a second tutorial on installing vehicles or whatever let me know I'm gonna my next tutorial I'm about to work on now is gonna be how to install your uh your siren tone all right how to replace the default game siren tone with a real life siren tone all right so thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing hit that notification for more and i will see you guys till next time peace